Hi everyone and welcome back to Matt Tech Talk. So within this video, today we're going to review one of the budget phones, which I think is one of the really good ones on the market if you want to spend around a hundred bucks. So today I'm going to talk about the Realme Note 50, as I actually compared quite a lot of different um, spec specifications. And this is the phone which has kind of the best price versus the specification ratio. Obviously, it's hard to compare it to iPhone 16 or, you know, Samsung S24 because they are kind of like a flagships, while this is like a minimum tier phone. So let's dig into it. And this is how it looks. Realme Note 50 and let's just open the box. Okay. So we can see that this is kind of the accessories. Oh my god, this is cool. They actually add the phone cover to the um, to the phone. I think this is pretty cool. Come on, good job, Realme. If someone haven't have forgotten to do that, that's I think it's a very good one. Obviously, the pin for the SIM cards. All right, and let's look at the actual phone. So the phone itself, it's pretty decent quality. I think it's um 6.7 inch display. That's how it looks. It's decent. I'm going to be honest, those three cameras, like the size itself, it's all right. Let's see what else do we have here in the box. So there's no charger, but there is a charging cable because this phone um, charges at the USB-C, which is obviously a good thing because now it should be a standard everywhere. And fortunately it is. All right, so let's put it on the side. So let's turn on the phone and see how long it actually does it turn on and set it up for the first time. So I'm going to show you actually what's the performance of, of this phone and how does it actually uh, work. So when it comes to the Realme, obviously we're having that uh, powered by the Android. And when it comes to the spec, so I can see that it's 60.7 um, inch display, which I think it's a decent size for majority of the phones. It has a 90 hertz um, vivid display, which I I think it's okay standard. Uh, I personally most of the time use 90 Hertz, like 120 Hertz. I think it's great, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I would say additional feature. Fortunately, uh, it's not 60 Hertz because I think 60 Hertz, it's a bit too low. So I'll just go through the process of the setup for the first time. So, the cool thing is, which I saw that they added to Realme, is that you have a fingerprint and you have a face unlock, which um, from what I saw, it works a tiny bit slow, uh, but we're going to test it out, well, comparing to, let's say, iPhone 11, and um, we're going to actually see how does it work. So the first thing, obviously, I'm going to use the face, and let's see how it actually will work. So face unlock plus a pin. Yes, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna go for the um, unlocking with the face. So first you need to set up the face unlock, which I'm gonna do right now. It's running the Android, but with the Realme UI, which is obvious. But the first thing which kind of like, um, which I think it's kind of worth on this phone, it actually, you feel that it's, working pretty fast like for the price of a hundred bucks i think it's a very decent um you know quality because uh like when you look at the phone itself like everything turns on very very quickly open play store like for a budget phone i think it's pretty pretty cool so um obviously um within this phone let's actually check how does it look work with the face one so Let's see, starting to slide up. Ah, so it's still preparing the setup, which kind of takes the um, takes its time. Like obviously, it's the first kind of uh, opening. Okay, and it opened. Like the display itself. Let's actually talk about the display first. When I put on maximum brightness, I think that's very good. Honestly, it's. Decent, decent kind of um, image. Like I think it's pretty nice. Looking that you know this is um, this is a you know 90 hertz and a hundred bucks phone. It's literally a budget phone. 
So, um, I think it's pretty decent. So, let's see how quick it will work with the face one. Okay, so it didn't. Okay, so now it did. Obviously, I have all the lights, but it takes like a one second. So it's kind of, it, it feels a bit slower than, let's say, an iPhone, but I think the face unlock is still pretty decent. So let's talk specification. So this phone, it's 60.74 inch display with a resolution of 1600 by 720 px IPS with a 64 gig built in storage. It has the 3 gig um, the memory, which is RAM. So we're looking at the 90.3 screen to body ratio, which we can see that the bezel around it, it's pretty slim and I think that's pretty de decent. It has a 560 uh, NIT, which is the peak brightness, which you just saw and I think it's pretty cool. And a 60.7 million uh, screen colors with a 90 Hertz refresh rate. So I think that's decent for a phone in general. So we see when it comes to the thinness, I think it's pretty decent. It's 7.99 millimeter thin body, kind of light in the hand. So it's nice. It has a kind of like a C angle. So it's kind of, um, it kind of reminds me of a uh, new, new iPhone kind of way. So this is pretty, pretty cool. It comes with two colors, the midnight black and the sky blue. This is a midnight black, which I think it looks pretty nice. So when it comes to the battery, it has a 5,000 milliampere hours battery, which um, what they're saying, it can power your phone for the whole day. From some of the reviews, it says that uh, it can even power the phone for like two days or sometimes longer. Depends on what you're doing. I can see that it can kind of cover 106 uh, hours of music or 10 hours of straight video uh, recording, which is pretty decent when you look at the spec. It has a 607 standby hours with 32 hours of phone calls. So yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty cool. But when it comes to obviously the spec by itself, it has a, a 10 watt fast charge. So it's not obviously huge as some of the other phones, but it's still better than the 5 watt standard charge, which I think it's all right. It's not the best, but well, it is what it is. Obviously it's a budget phone. It has a powerful eight core chipset. So we're looking at the 245,343 Atutu 43 benchmark with the 30, 48 mom fluency protection. And um, obviously uh, this is a pretty cool kind of option for, um, I would say the basic of the phones. Obviously the model of the processor here is Unisoc T612, uh, which is obviously eight core, as I mentioned. It, it should have running the Android, um, 13 from what I saw. Let me just open it, uh, but let me just confirm that because that's actually what the spec is saying. Um, but let's see. So yeah, it is running Android version 13 with the Realme UI version 13. One of the minuses obviously is that it that is not 5G uh, compatible. So it's only 4G LTE uh, and it doesn't have NFC. And I think that's um, kind of a big minus because honestly, if this would have NFC as well and people can pay with it, I think it would be a very, very good um, phone for like a general use. So what they're saying about the camera is that this is a 13 megapixel AI camera. So um, I kind of wonder how the AI will work in here, but the basic kind of thing, which I'm, let's say, grab a photo of myself here. Obviously it's a pretty bad lighting, but let's just maybe grab a photo of this. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's not as, you know, great as I would thought it is. Let's take a selfie. Obviously, it's a 13 megapixel camera on the uh, on the back, and the front has um, yeah, I think it's a much much uh, lower. Yeah, the front has like five me megapixel camera, so you know we can't expect too much on it. But like the basic, the details, I think they're okay. Like it has many different modes. Like we can see, obviously, um, the photo mode, the portrait mode, etc. I can go to more and I can see also the pro mode. Let's actually, let's turn on the pro mode and let's see how the pro mode will work. Okay, it will give me all the option of the camera. So 
I think it's pretty alright, pretty decent. Um, when it comes to that AI, yeah, I don't see that much of a difference. <laughs> so for a hundred bucks, I think it's a pretty decent choice, especially if you need maybe a second phone uh, or maybe um, you need like a backup phone. That's something which is great. Obviously for the main one, if you don't have a budget to buy something, you know, like top Samsung or stuff like that, I think it's awesome. I think it's one of the very good one within the price range and well it's pretty slick as well because obviously with those three cameras and kind of um, how thin it is i think it's pretty nice let me know what you think and if you have some questions about it leave it in the comments and remember if you like this video just hit that like and subscribe and see you in the next video take care